I live in uh, um, Lucknow at present, but before we had our association with Baba, when I was not married and I was just small kid. So we were living in Patna, we lived in Rachi, and Baba used to often come to these places. And we had a very personal contact with him at that time. It was very, um, uh, like, we had many experiences. We, it was a daily, we used to go there. And uh, every day we had small experiences. Baba's uh, personal meeting was there. So we loved doing that. Okay, and tell us something about um, the first ever Duta of Ananda Marga. Yeah. Uh, Satyanand Dada was uh, like Baba's uh, senior. Uh, he was an engineer in Jamalpur and Baba was working there as an accountant. So, but uh, his personality was so, such that all, even the seniors, juniors, everyone were like, it, Baba is something different from other people. So Satyanand Dada also got impressed and uh, he became an, uh, he took initiation and afterwards Baba might have asked her or he offered himself for the full-time work of Anand Mark. Satyanand Dada became the first of Dhuta and he only decided, the Baba gave him the responsibility that what should be the dresses, dress uh, sannyasi should wear. So he decided the dress and everything and uh, he became the first of Dhuta on and Mark. In one such occasion, Dada was like transferred to Leh, Ladakh. And that at that time, it was uh, freezing cold in Ladakh. And sometimes the climate, uh, the temperature would drop as low as minus 20 degrees over there. So when Dada, uh, Dada was from uh, the region of Bihar or in Bengal, so we don't experience that much cold. Um, we are not used to that cold temperature. So when Dada was posted there, he had two, three obstacles, like he didn't know the local language uh, and people there couldn't either speak in Hindi or English. And so the mode of communication was like, um, there was no medium to communicate. The other was he didn't have any finance, no money with him. And a uh, children home was a healthy home and there were many children over there. So ba when ba uh, Satyanand got uh, um, um, from the bus, he down and uh, he was he didn't know how to tell ki where am I supposed to go and no people were saying you know I don't I can't understand what you are saying. So he was perplexed. Now it's uh, it, the night was descending and he was shivering with cold like anything, and he didn't have a appropriate clothes also. So he was like, what to do? And uh, he asked some lo some local people pass, happened to pass by and he said that, uh, listen, I want to go to that place and I'm not getting a conveyance. So he said, Ki, that person, he's saying, uh, he's uh, telling that one person can sit in his uh, uh, vehicle. He has one place for it. So he said, as Satyananda told that, he was saying, ak sawari pakse, means uh, one sawari, one uh, passenger can sit, one passenger can sit, but he was not able to understand that. So he said, okay, then he went there. And uh, when he came there in the children home, he found that there were 20 children and no food, uh, not even, uh, 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 there was no uh, grains, nothing there, no vegetable. And children are saying, Dada, we are hungry, we want food. And neither there was uh, uh, fire, wood, nothing. So he said, Baba is really very cruel. How can Baba post me here? And this is, uh, he says that I'm very uh, uh, passionate, I'm very compassionate. How I don't think he has anything to do with compassion. He's a very hard-hearted person. So 
uh, in the fit of anger, like uh, he was so much uh, uh, enraged that he wrote a letter to Baba that very night. And he, whatever thoughts came in his mind, like he, most of them were a bit abusive also, that you are a hard-hearted person, you are nothing to do with it. who says this and that. He wrote whatever came in his mind, he wrote that. And in the fit of anger also, he went and posted it. And he went off to sleep because there was no food. Uh, then what happened, he started dreaming that he was in a uh, blissful state and he started dropping from there and gradually he saw seven stages of Narak uh, that is uh, hell and uh, he saw Tal, Latal, Patal, Ati Patal and till Rasatal he saw that and he said that Rasatal was such a horrible place and he found, uh, told that he saw a leper over there all his uh, uh, fingers and face was uh, very in a bad state and um, uh, um, flies were hovering over him and uh, and darkness and he was so frightened with that pathetic side that he started yelling, Baba, I can't live here. Please, please, you take me in that blissful state again. So then he gradually rose from that uh, horrible uh, state to that sublime uh, state and when he went uh, he saw all the seven heaven and like when he went in the up, uh, uppermost level which is uh, the uh, uppermost state there he heard Baba Nam Kevalam was playing and Till then, Baba had not given Baba Nam Kevlam. It was in, uh, I think, early 60s when Anand Mar just was in his infancy. So um, uh, he heard that Baba Nam, and it was so soothing. And Baba was sitting in a very radiant white light, and he had uh, given a Varabhe mudra over there. He was sitting in Varabhe posture. And uh, he was like so overwhelmed that he thought, now I will, I should go to Baba and uh, ask apology that I, I was so rude to him. Next day in the morning, a person came with uh, bags and bags of food items, and he bought some uh, firewood also. And he told Dada, I thought that you have so many children and. Uh, you might be, you, you have just come to this place, you are a new one, you didn't know that you should collect firewood and everything, so I bought for your, this thing, winters. So he kept those things for children and he took a train and he went to Jamalpur. Uh, uh, then he said, thought ke in Abdhut meeting, Baba will be very angry and he will, uh, 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 scold him and uh, uh, things like that. So uh, he was sitting and he was uh, he was like ducked and he thought let everybody go then I'll ask Baba. So ba he told Baba I wrote you a letter Baba. Baba said नहीं नहीं हो जाता है जी हो जाता है घबरा जाते हैं तो हो जाता है that if you are worried and you are anxious it happens sometimes so Baba was like so gentle and he didn't even mind that Satyanand the other Satyanand was all he started crying and he hugged Baba and said Baba you are so so merciful, so this the kind. So that way, Satyanand had that experience. And when, uh, in meantime, when he was going to uh, that to meet Baba, uh, when he was uh, going by train, he uh, had a dream in uh, the uh, train during uh, when he was sleeping in the train. He saw a dream that uh, uh, the train got revealed 
and it was moving like uh, baba was with him and he was uh, having a blissful time but suddenly baba vanished from the tra train and after that the train went this way and that way and it got derailed and it was very jerky ride and he he, he was so uh, terrified that he closed his eyes and said baba baba i uh, well, he was like uh, in a panic state so then he heard, uh, saw that baba didn't come physically but his invisible hand again put the train on the rails and it started to move smoothly so he said um, he, he predicted that very um, um, a long time back that uh, something very catastrophic is going to happen in near future and uh, baba won't be there that time through uh, uh, what dana Catastrophic to who? The no, no, to the world. Malab, it was like uh, some catastrophic, uh, catastrophe will uh, fall on this planet, and during that time, Baba won't be with us. But uh, he said that uh, Baba will, uh, if we do like uh, um, uh, something like positive things, then Baba will surely his invisible power will again put the things right. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, later on, Baba told that uh, after uh, this thing, many due to this negative vibrations and pain emitting from this planet, negative microvitas will be attracted towards our planet. And so, all of us should be very firm in 16 points and do a lot of uh, positive things so that and do kirtan if, if you whenever and wherever you get time so will it baba has every time insisted that you should keep continuously keep chanting baba nam kevalam and Baba Nam Kevlam should be like Baba, he told that in Patna, that when you are singing Baba Nam Kevlam, it should not be like a um, song. But Baba Nam is a unit mind getting Kevlam, you merge with it. Every time you have to take this bow also. Mm -hmm. So it should be a continuous thing and ba Baba Nam Kevlam. Baba Nam Kevala. And what did he say will happen when all this negative microbiota comes to you? Uh, he said that, uh, and he, in one instance in Abdhut meeting, he told that uh, I see such a um, um, catastrophe in future that uh, um, uh, some catastrophe will be man made, some will be natural calamity. So, um, uh, and uh, I also, uh, Baba said that I also dread to see that mm -hmm. it will be such a dreadful this thing. So, and uh, Bol, uh, he said that you need not worry because uh, those who are uh, in uh, firm in 16 points will survive and God will help them. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an, another story and that is a very personal one. Like in our family, we had one cousin who was financially very down that time. And uh, uh, my father and I visit, uh, our family visited uh, their place in Ranchi. And after that, we went to uh, come to Ananagar for uh, winter DMC on first. So that time we my father observed that they are um, they are going with a rough time and they were very depressed in life so he thought that it won't be wise to leave them alone and uh, he told them that you accompany me to Anand Nagar, but you won't be allowed to see Baba as you are a non-Margi, but you enjoy the other things, you enjoy the nature, you uh, you stay with us. And he thought that this phase would pass and um, he would become normal. So he uh, bought him as uh, and told that it would be a picnic for you. So you come with me and join me. So what happened when he came here at that, that time the, on first DMC that uh, when Baba came after uh, from the jail, it was just 
द फर्स्ट डी एम सी सो वी दादा हैड ओनली पोट अड पेंडॉल एंड इट वॉज ओपन फ्रॉम ऑल साइड एंड माई ब्रदर इन लॉ ही वॉज सिटिंग इन द कार and uh, only listening to baba's pravachan and baba was telling something and uh, being a non margi he said ke see what a hoax every people were uh, doing baba naam kevalam and all and uh, he thinks as if he is the god mosa ji thinks he is a god oh he is not a god he is just an ordinary person so he, uh, he was uh, uh, my father had kept his revolver in his custody so that he didn't want to leave it in the hostel so he gave him that you keep it i'm going to baba's place uh, inside the pendol just saying what your father does my father was a chief electrical engineer so he gave his pistol to um, uh, my brother in law my uh, he my cousin's husband so he had this pistol and he uh, thought a fleeting thought came to his mind that uh, what if i shoot this man he is just an ordinary person and people are thinking that he is god and mosa ji thinks he is a god uh, i will spring, um, just fire and he will be um, he will die in no seconds um, just so what happened uh, after that it was first night and baba gave varab hai mudra and suddenly my uh, kundalini it rose to some level i don't know and i found that everything was very in a blissful state and uh, my mummy caught hold of me and papa and they bought it you know, uh, bought me to the car how i was in uh, high school then so uh, the, around 15 14 15 years so they bought me in the car and i was like just shivering and in the meantime he also tried to come in the car and i was so furious i started scolding him i told um, what do you think of yourself you are going to shoot baba you are going to shoot baba Uh, uh, who has that ability to shoot him do you think yourself uh, you can't even uh, move from this place to that place on your own so he was like uh, dazed say how could i know that i was planning to shoot baba so he ran uh, away from me and my father also uh, he became suspicious and uh, uh, ran after him said what happened vijay so he stole mosa ji actually just for a moment uh, the thought came to me that uh, uh, everyone thinks that he is baba and i have a pistol and if i shoot him what will happen he will die so they uh, but i i was not very this thing he was he started doing it. my father took the pistol he thought that this person is not worth um, <laughs> uh, now so, but now he is a staunch man and after that uh, he had many experiences and uh, baba personally pulled him maybe it was his previous sanskara or something and whole of his family is now in and good marke and everyone is there yeah so what was it like when you were a child to be around baba we had a special attraction towards baba being a child also we were very patiently hearing baba's pravachan baba would baba would smile like this and then uh, we were over well then also so matlab we were not like ki how oh, we are going to wait here and baba will do some speech give some discourse and uh, as a child maybe we didn't understand much but that wasn't boring and we were attracted every time like we were oh baba and we used to run after him then baba taught us kaushikli and he told that you are the universal didis now we were first to do kaushikli in front of baba <laughs> and baba used to be very communicative he we used to sit around baba and he said that 
uh, one thing I do remember is when Baba gave that song, Deepa Wali Sajaye Chi Prabhu. So Baba was uh, walking in his Patliputra residence and we were sitting in the lawn, uh, in Baba's lawn. Uh, so Baba said, oh, where is your diyas, where your ardhan lamps? Uh, you didn't light any light um, uh, lamp. So um, then he said, you should light every kosha, every chakra of you and then you say that ba it's God. I'm offering you this light and so but uh, many people they didn't understand the uh, bhav and the other day they bought a big plate full of all the hours um, that are the lamps and they started uh, uh, singing this song that way so uh, the gist is that when you sing Prabhat Sangeet you should also feel that I am doing, uh, follow each word and with how you should sing that. Mm -hmm. The year I won't uh, be able to tell you, but we had come from Dhanbad to Patna to attend DMC. And uh, uh, generally uh, before Baba's Pravachan, Uma Sarkar used to give uh, a small discourse and uh, it was in Bangla, so we were not able to follow that time. Nowadays we know Bangla a little bit, but uh, that time uh, we, it all went over her head, so we couldn't make out what she was saying. But uh, she was, um, but she never impressed her that much. Then we uh, we went in the pendol. We were sitting there and. And the last day, it was the, the day when Baba got arrested, just before, uh, after that. So uh, Uma Sarkar was given some pravachan and uh, Baba, uh, uh, generally uh, in other days, what happened when she used to give pravachan, ba uh, even if Baba came on uh, uh, that side, he would go to some other place. And when she had finished, Baba would come. But that day it was like uh, she was sitting on the dais and uh, Baba entered. And everyone said, Param Pita Baba Ki Jai. And everyone started moving. And uh, Uma, uh, Uma Sarkar was sitting and VSS was saying, Ki, sit down, sit down. Everyone sit down. But no one said, even my mother got irritated. Oh, what? Baba has come. Go. I, uh, and we would like just turned our faces and said, Bhavana, uh, Parampita Baba Ki Jai and Parampita Baba Ki Jai. Uma Sarkar got down from the, uh, from the dais and Baba alighted and sat there. Uh, in that very Dharma Chakra, Baba said, this is the uh, period of Chataya Yuga. Chataya Yuga man is a uh, wrong person's will be thrown away from the Anand Mark. Chataya Yuga. Baba used to give uh, this uh, year, will how this year will be done. So he said this year it's Chataya Yuga and uh, people will, those who are not strong in um, conduct or mar marg, uh, philo uh, fundamentals, they will be moved. So everyone was thinking ki, uh, because I'm not very sincere in sadhana, I'm not following 16 points, maybe it's us who will be uh, thrown away. So everyone was a bit worried that uh, maybe we, ha we will be eliminated from Anand Mark. Uh, that day what happened, uh, uh, Papa, next day, Papa uh, bought a book and uh, it was about Baba had. Uh, it was uh, about Baba's childhood and everything. Their family. Uh, it, it has photographs of their, her, his mother, father, uh, all children, their children, and um, their brothers and sisters, and everyone of their family. They had pictures of that. So, but only two percent pictures were missing from that book. It was Uma Sarkar's and Siddharth's picture was not there. 
तो माय फादर टर्न द पेजेस एंड ही सेड उमा सरकार तो गई दैट मीन्स उमा सरकार विल नॉट बी इन द आनंद मार्ग एनी मोर एंड वेन दादाज हर्ट दिस दे वे फ्यू दादाज हु लाइक मार्ग गुरु ऑल्सो सो दे वे वेरी फ्यूरियस कि हाउ कैन अ करवाल जी टेल सच थिंग्स एंड ही शुड बी पार्ट फ्रॉम आनंद मार्ग एंड दिस दिस पर्सन ही इज सच अ फॉल माउथ पर्सन ही स्पीक्स एनी थिंग लाइक दिस एंड ही इज अगेंस्ट दिस so my mother also scolded him ki if you had this thought you should have kept it within yourself why did you tell publicly everyone so this is not fair uh, how can why will she leave um baba and next day uma sarkar left the organization with five of thoots and um, a few others might have followed but five we know about five person only and uh, Uma Sarkar left with his son, and uh, Baba got arrested that day. And Dharmachak, I think, was also not commenced that year. So then, uh, you know, the ordeals of uh, that time, uh, Anand Margis had to suffer and all. Then, when Baba came out of the jail, he. told he used to talk some personal things with my father also so he, he told like see i try to bole uh, i have a pardon all but for his wife and five person they will they won't be allowed in mark again and because and he told that i try to correct them quite a lot but uh, they try uh, they uh, were amassing uh, wealth and uh, they were not uh, keeping to the marx principles and he told that i had allowed them to read all books uh, so that they can be they can critically evaluate the things and see how that i our books our philosophy is perfect and in uh, uh, for uh, they, what those people started doing that they started reading some bad books also bad literature which was not good and baba told that i scolded them i punished them but uh, they tried to overpower me so i had and baba told that the worst part for someone is to destroy his own creation with his hands mm. and he said that i did that destroyed anand mark with my own hands then just to reconstruct it again okay when we came uh, uh, baba came out of uh, his uh, prison he stayed for quite some time in patna and we had a we used to go there regularly and one day when we were going we found that some shepherds and they were like uh, they bought a full herd of uh, uh, sheep and goats over there and uh, they were uh, they uh, uh, sheep were uh, were uh, just trying to Uh, eat uh, that uh, our vegetable and uh, plants over there so my uh, brother elder one he told that we eat, listen your sheep are just eating away our things you uh, take the uh, your sheep away but uh, that person he was not listening to this so my brother he told that okay i'm going to get my gun and i'll shoot your Uh, a sheep and uh, just it was uh, just to threaten him but we thought that he is just trying to threaten and uh, that shepherd became afraid and he shooed away all the uh, goats and sheep away and after that we went to baba's place a uh, patliputra colony residence mm-hmm. and we sat there baba came out it was in and that day the pra- vachan was like 
uh, he gave uh, this pravachan trinadapi suni chena taru rivasa shahi shuna amanini amanate hi kirtanya sadhari and while he was explaining this he should he told that uh, you should be polite like a blade of grass and uh, Taruri uh, was a shahishu, and you should be patient. You should be like uh, a tree. It, it, as it bores more fruit, it uh, bows down, and uh, people even hurt uh, that tree to get fruits, but they do not retaliate. So you should be more patient. You should be like this. Say, but and then Baba told. Uh, but someone, if, even a uh, uh, goat enters and eats a blade of grass, you get angry and you bring out your gun and try to say, and uh, tell that I'll shoot this goat. And uh, he said, uh, am I true? Uh, is it okay? Did I tell it? To my brother and we also knew. So uh, everyone was like, oh, Baba is, um, because it was something, uh, a very unique type of th uh, example, which uh, you could say, like I, uh, someone gets a gun and wants to shoot a sheep. So we, we knew, but other people were like, well, Baba is giving wise, um, Baba is giving this example. You should have given other, but we knew, and he sat like this and said, "Yes, Baba." Ah, ah, yeah. He put his head down he, uh, and said, "Baba, yes." And we also knew that Baba has. Uh, Baba pointed, he took out his uh, this index finger and said, uh, "Yes, is it true?"